This is an ESP32 power supply board. The chip there is the ESP32 Pico D4. The antenna, this is a navigation switch and a switch to enable or disable power along with the red or green LED. This is the USB-C connector um, to power the USB chip, which is the CP2104. I used a high voltage input um, LDO because that chip does not draw very much power. ESP32 Pico D4 draws a fair amount of power. So I had to use a switching power supply, 3.3 volt switching power supply to power that chip and the display. Uh, that's a little MOSFET chip that enables or disables input controlled by the uh, ST, or ST USB 4500 USB-C chip. Not the L version. The L version only um, works at 5 volts. But the ST USB 4500, I think it's a B or another suffix, um, will work above five at 5 volts and above 5 volts. And I added a uh, little chip here, which is supposed to monitor current, but it doesn't really work that well. So I'm still working on that. Um, when you connect this to your laptop to upload a sketch, uh, output is only ever five volts. But if you use a wall plug, sort of like this one from Apple, I think this is like, I forget how many watts, 30 watts. You can see right there, all the different um, voltages and currents that can be delivered. Starting at five volts, nine, I don't see 12 there, 15 and 20. So I'm just gonna plug that back in. And because the sketch is already uploaded to it, I'm just gonna plug it in to the wall plug. The Performance Whisper wrote the sketch for this. This is a test sketch just to verify that you know all the buttons work and then to get out of that. So what you do is you select your voltage and your current through this menu here and then when you want to run or set that voltage you press that button there and that turns green. So I'm going to go back to 5 volts. I mangled the sketch up a little bit. It doesn't quite... 0 volts. When you go to 0 volts, it doesn't actually put 0 volts. It starts around 5 volts or so. So I'll select 5 volts. Like that. Connect a little motor to it. PCB Way is well known for having great quality circuit boards for an excellent price, but they also have a shared projects page where you can publish all your design files for uh, what you're working on. Uh, my project is listed on the site now, and they also have um, points that you get every time you make a purchase or leave a review. You get a number of points, and after a certain number of points, you can redeem them for free items. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. It's a little hard making more than a few of these right now because um, most of the chips are not too hard to get. The USB CP2104 is difficult to get, but the uh, ST USB 4500 is really hard to get. I had to I had to pull a few favors to get a couple of those chips. But yeah, thanks a lot. Bye bye.